What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. My name is Ron and this is MotorTube. I hope you guys are all having a fantastic day. Today's video is going to be super, super, super lit. Yes, we needed three supers for that. We are going to go to Mexico today for the first part of the video. The second part of the video is going to be an update on the red eye. We have some really, really great news. So stay tuned. That will be on the second part of the video. So the first part of the video, we're going to be taking the Mustang to Mexico because we are going to be racing a 2021 Toyota Supra. I know the Toyota kind of sounds lame. I just like saying it's Supra. 2021 Supra. Yes. Um, I have no idea how much power those cars make. I have no idea how much they weigh. But it's a Supra, and you guys know the hype around a Supra. Everybody loves the Supra, whether it's the older one or the new one. I know the older one is uh, more popular than the newer ones, but... I think it would get some clicks if I was to race one. So anyways, we're going to turn the Mustang on and we're going to go meet up with the Supra owner, check the car out, and then go do some fun runs. So we got the keys right here and now it's time to turn on the Mustang. Oh, that was a fail. Let's try that again. Alright guys, so we're rolling up there right now. So here we got both cars. Let me break down the mods on this car. E85 intake, obviously it's tuned. And then here's the Supra. I mean, everything is pretty much bundled up in here. I don't know anything about it, so you're gonna have to tell me about yeah. this. How much horsepower does this come with? This is 100% bone stock, except for the tires. It's got some drag radials on it. But uh, it comes with like 385. 385? The crank from the factory. And it weighs? About 3,300 pounds. 3,300 pounds, I weigh like 3,700 pounds. So it's definitely lighter. Obviously I make more power than the car. So this is basically like a BMW. It's like the platform they use with this, right? BMW motor, yeah. Let me know in the comments below, who do you guys got winning this race? We're gonna do a few rolls. What rolls would you prefer? Whatever you want. So 40, 50, 60. We'll do 60 and 50, cause I can't really hook off a of 40. So we're gonna do 50 and 60 and see how it goes. Obviously, it's a bone stock car So if I have to give him the leave, we'll do whatever I got to do to make it a good race We're gonna do heads up first and then we're gonna go on from there So we just stopped at the gas station real quick I just want to let you guys know so both of us have a full tank of gas by the way Just so you guys know we also got a McLaren here a 570 GT. I'm gonna be running that as well Supra, obviously the McLaren completely came around me like I was standing still so yeah. I expected that but 
I'm not gonna say no to a race. I can say now that I finally raced a McLaren 570 GT. The Supra, I don't know how much I got him by. They say I got him by three cars. It's a completely stock car, but it's a very light car. Let me know in the comments below, what do you guys think of that race? I always wanted to run the Supra. He is gonna modify it, and then we're gonna get a rerun, so stay tuned for that. All right, guys, so it is the second part of the video. Today is the day we are gonna finally fix or resolve the little issue with the red eye if you guys have been paying attention to the channel for the past i don't know month the car has been going into lint mode when i do a pull so let's say we do a 60 roll halfway through the pull when we get in the higher speeds the car just like slams on its face and you know the pull comes to an end and then it just continues to drive normal so we finally think we found the problem and i got the thing that's gonna fix the problem right over here. So this right here, we'll show you guys, is is a supercharger bypass valve. All right, look at that. So this right here goes right under the supercharger. Why don't I just bring the car out here so I could show you guys what I'm talking about so you guys can actually see it. So here's what I'm talking about right here. This is where the part goes. Basically, you have to take the lid off and then screw it off. Here's the part we think that went bad. This is what could be causing the car to go into limp mode. So right now we are headed to the shop to swap out the parts and you know get it all done. And hopefully after that I can take the car data login and hopefully it doesn't go to limp mode hopefully that fixes the issue i know a lot of you guys have been really really wanting to see some racing content with the car but hear me out this is how it goes when you're building a car when you're modifying a car a lot of things can go wrong a lot of things just don't go right all the times i mean like like this this is such a little small issue that we didn't know this was the issue that was causing the car into limp mode until now the car finally threw a check engine light for that and then the check engine light went away so if i didn't catch on to that check engine light i would have never knew that that check engine light was for that part so it's just part of building a car and always comes up and we got to deal with it i had to wait for the part to come in i had to wait for a new gasket because i'm going to take the lid off and you got to put a new gasket in there so all this is just consuming a lot of time and ended up being two weeks so you know it is what it is but we're finally here we're going to take the car to the shop right now swap out the parts we're going to go data login and do some pulls and hopefully let's pray to god that it does not go into limp mode all right guys so we made it to the shop the car is inside we are about to replace the supercharger valve bypass like the funny thing is i didn't even know such a thing even existed um there's little stuff on the car sometimes you don't really paying attention to and i didn't really pay attention for a bypass valve so anyways we're gonna replace the part right now so first we got to take this plastic piece off we already took it off and then we're gonna take this piece off because the lid has to come off. The lid comes off because this is attached to the lid. Here's the new one. Let me show you guys. So here's the new one, and here's the old one we're gonna replace. So we gotta do a few things here before we could take the lid out. So we just took the lid off, as you can see. This is the gasket as you can see the gasket broke off so that's why we have a new one to put in there look at that <laughs> motor tube race package on there so here is the valve bypass or whatever it's called so here's it's attached to the lid and that's what we're replacing so that's the new one right now we just installed so now we're going to put the lid back on we got the gasket in there as well let me show you guys the old gasket so it just broke off as we were taking it off. We also had to take the windshield wipers off. We've pretty much every, done with everything, now we're putting them back on. All right, we're done now, let's turn it on. Super! 
super, super clean run, no limp mode. That was good. That's all I needed. Guys, those pulls went great. We logged both of them. Didn't go into lint mode. We went to really good speeds, you know, just about the speed limit, and it did not go into lint mode. I'm so happy we are finally able to get it figured out. Um, you guys deserve that. I deserve it. I mean, I've been dealing with this little issue for so long. The fact that we finally figured it out, it's like, I'm just so relieved, so happy. Hopefully the lint mode went away, but we are pretty sure it was that part that we just changed. And uh, boy, finally, right? I mean, I know you guys are relieved as much as I am that we were finally able to get that issue solved. So you guys are wondering now what's next? Well, what's next is I'm gonna send those logs of the pulls I just did to my tuner. He's gonna look it over, make sure there's nothing wrong, everything went well, and if everything is good, then we're done. We're pretty much fully done figuring the car out. I know it took a little while, but it's part of the game. This happens to anyone that builds their cars. So what we're gonna do now is just wait for him. I'm gonna send it over tonight and then wait for his response. He's gonna tell me how it went, if the poles were clean. They look clean, they felt clean, and no lint mode, so that's good. So we're just gonna wait for that and then I'm gonna try to pump out some racing content with this car. I gotta find some people to race, obviously, because this is a much harder car to get races with than the Mustang because you know it's much faster than the Mustang so stay tuned for the racing content I promise you guys it's coming I know it's taken a little longer than usual but it will come very very soon so with that being said I'm gonna let you guys go so if you guys like today's video give it a big thumbs up if you're new to this channel smash the subscribe button turn your notification bell on to stay up to date with the videos and I will see you guys on the next one peace